Duel Review is brought to you by SpiderWolf.com. On today's Duel Review, it's Chaos Head, the anime. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, today is the 26th, and we're taking a look at Chaos Head, the anime. That's right, and this was directed by Ishiyami Takaki. Takahaki? Takahaki? Ishiyami? I'm sorry, Ishiyama Takahaki. It's with two A's, so I don't know how to pronounce that. And it was done by Madhouse Studios, and it's uh, got 12 episodes, and it's based on the, what do they call it? They called it a visual novel video yeah, game. The point-and-click video game. Right. Uh, well, they call it a visual novel. Not like a graphic novel, but a visual novel. Um, basically, instead of playing a traditional thing, you're going through a lot of text, you're going through a lot of story, and every now and then there's something interactive about it. Um, so, yeah, the anime was based on that, and the anime follows the story of a young high school kid who... You don't really understand his story. He's a shut-in for sure, and he's these weird things are going on, and he kind of gets thrown into solving a murder... A series of murders. He's trying to find a serial killer, um, but it it gets very unusual from there. I mean, I know that's unusual, but it gets really strange and very dramatic. I don't. I, to me, it's overly dramatic, in my opinion. I think I think this, there's a lot of melodrama drama in this, but maybe that's just how it's supposed to be. Um, so, what what did you think about it? Yeah, it's one of those things that not everybody's going to like. First of all. Um, so the, the video game is, I think, a little bit of barrier to entry because it is a long you know, video game. If you're not really into those sort of things, the, the point and click and wait and kind of nature of it can be boring for some. I think that this is more accessible. Um, I think that things that really deal with reality and, and, and you know what's real, what's not, you don't seem to like. But this one, uh, you know... I thought you might like it, maybe. I'm not sure that I like it a lot, um, but but I, I do think that it's worth watching because some people, I could see this being like a huge cult classic. Because it's very... How did you feel about Twin Peaks? Did you like Twin Peaks? No. Yeah. I, I don't think I necessarily did either, but lots of people did. And this reminds me of that sort of thing, okay. just done kind of in an anime style. So there's a lot of... Uh, again, it becomes like the reason that I started watching this is because it was honestly a shorter anime and we don't always have a lot of time. So it's kind of like, okay. And it seemed interesting to me. Watched the first couple episodes. I did like how the main character, uh, Takami, is kind of like inside his own head all the time. And he has like these fantasies with his anime girl or whatever. And I thought that was kind of fun because they don't really do it too, uh, you know, fan service y. Right. So I thought it was kind of fun. And, and, then there's this weird mystery, you know, murder mystery and all these other girls, you know, 3D girls, you know, like, why are you attracted to that 3D girl? I'm not, you know, only you, baby, you know, 2D girl, um, his one in his head. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, so that kind of interested me and it was kind of like, okay, well, what is this murder? And all these weird things start happening. So, so what is this? What is this? And that's kind of what kept me going through the anime is what's going on? What's going on? What, what, what is this? Cause I was expecting, you know, like a few pieces to finally come into play and it's like, oh, okay. And they don't really do that until more than, like, literally halfway through the anime. Yeah. Like, episode six, then you're kind of understanding a little bit of what's going on. So so it did take a little bit long. I think that, that that automatically probably put you in a bad mood and would probably keep a lot of people out of this anime. But I think going all the way through it, I, I don't know. I, there's something unique about it. There's something very interesting about it. And, again, it's one of those things, like, deals with are you real what is real i love that it kind of harkens to that whole you know socrates argument of of is this really a chair and like how would you know it's a chair well you know it's a chair because you use all the other experiences that you've had and and whatever but it's all the senses and the senses can be fooled this one makes a big deal out of like eyesight being like 90 percent of our, most of our senses and so that's pretty easy to fool and i'm not going to go into the science behind it because they do kind of try to do a little bit of science which kind of makes sense you know it's, it's an interesting thought i think right. uh, that's why that's why i think i i see potential in this and i think that a lot of people would enjoy it as kind of a cult classic kind of thing because it is bizarre and it is kind of out there um all the time i mean like there's there's never really uh oh okay now i understand yeah it, it's kind of always like well uh 
you know, kind more of thing, questions but, keep getting raised. But I kind of, I kind of have fun doing it, and I like the whole murder mystery thing, and and I, I, yeah, see, I don't know what to spoil and what not to, but there's certain characters that aren't even sure if you know, I don't know, I, I can't say that. Um, so there's this weird murder thing, and it's very visceral, you know, kind of murder thing, and you're like, wow, you know, this sucks, and then, but you, then you learn something that makes it kind of less visceral. Which almost makes you step back a little bit and be like, oh, okay, well that that's interesting, how that reality and this reality can mix and you know whatever. So I enjoy it, but I think that it definitely is you know one that you have to try hard and like think yes. kind of thing. And that's why I thought that maybe you'd like it because sometimes you dig those things that don't necessarily make sense at first. Right. But I also you know it is kind of slow and I it could is very kinda, slow. Kind of feel that you might not like it. So. In the very beginning, the very first episode, I was like, wow, this is a slow anime. Because it really doesn't, nothing happens in the first episode. In the second episode, things happen, but they're not I, what you expect them. I think you're also guilty of, if you don't get it right away, you kind of don't go there. Possibly. Because I think that, you know, this might be one that if you watch a second time and you know what's coming, that might help you. Just like Twin Peaks or Mulholland Drive or, you know, whatever. With, with like, Twin Peaks and Mulholland Drive, there's still not a really concrete answer. Nobody said that this is the way it is. So it's more like this exercise and, you know, fucking your brain kind of thing. And I think that this is similar. But, right. But anyway, uh, to be fair, yeah, again, it's not one that I'm sure that I like. Yeah. I definitely, but I think it's more accessible than video games. So if you want to experience it, right? Agreed. It's definitely more accessible than the video game. Uh, I definitely see the potential, just like you do. I definitely see where they were going. Um, you know, as far as uh, uh, I, I guess all the things philosophically, uh, um, scientifically, sci thank you, scientifically, and I mean, even uh, there's just so much to like. And I do like that main character because he does have those little fantasies, which reminds me of uh, JD from Scrubs. You know, he just has these fantasies sometimes. But in a very Japanese way, so he's constantly with that that uh, anime character that he really likes. She's constantly over there, like, "Oh, what's going on? You you love me, right?" Uh -huh. Or whatever. And, um, and uh, perfect, spot on, spot th on impression. Th thanks. And uh, so yeah, there is a lot to to dig about it. It's just very slow and it's just terribly slow. Unfortunately, I like, I like the fun they have with some characters though, because like Remy, like you're not sure. Like at first, you're like, oh, you know, this seems sinister, this seems bad, and then right. you question that, and then it comes back, and you're not, you know, whatever. Uh, I would say like six and seven. That's when after that you kind of know what's going on ish, and you know what characters to trust and that sort right. of thing. But before that, so if they had hastened through that first part then I never would have had that experience. So again, it's it's one of those things that I try to think of, how could they have made this more engaging or whatever? And it's like, I don't know. I, because if they cut out some of that stuff that is kind of slow and ambiguous, right. that would take away half of the challenge to us as a viewer. Yeah, okay, I can see that. And each episode is only like 23 or 24 yeah, minutes long. Normal, anyway. And for 12 episodes, I, I say it's definitely worth worth checking out. You'll, you'll understand that it's slow in the beginning, but... It does have potential, so yeah, check it out. I mean, I, I, I if it sounds at all interesting to you, if, yeah. if you think you might like not knowing what re, what is real and what is not, right? And they do that a lot. It's just kind of a challenging anime at some points. Right. It's, I, I think, as far as you know, what you have to question as far as real or go, uh, or, or not goes. Um, it's kind of like Inception, where it's like, is this a dream? Is this not a dream? It's kind of like that. Is yeah. That, yeah. But again, it's not one that you could sit and think like, okay, well, that makes sense because this goes together and whatever. That doesn't always happen. Kind of like Twin Peaks, right? right? You kind of know that, oh, this happened because of that way back then, but it doesn't really make sense. So you just have to kind of go with it. Right. Um, but it's not it's not as deep as that either, though. It's not really that complicated. It's not like, what all the time. Um, so it's just an interesting experiment. So I, I don't know. I the characters are likable enough that I'd say give it a shot. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's it's odd that this is this is this is an odd one because neither of us really like this anime, but we're both saying you should check it out because there's a potential that you might really like it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's if you're if you're looking for Helsing or Full Metal Alchemist or whatever, this is not that. No. This is definitely kind of an odd duck. Right. Um, but yeah, you might really dig it. So. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our great playlist. Uh, Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has. And please leave comments. We love comments. And you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a card game, art print, short stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us. And if I'm online, I will chat with you all day. 
We're also blogging. You can find me, fisk37.tumblr.com. I'm blogging as characters, releasing updates to the world I've created for 10 plus years. Take a look. If you like it, share it. Uh, support me that way. And mine is nicholasbach.tumblr.com, where I have short stories and poetry. So if you're interested, check that out. All right. See you later. Oh. Yay. Oh. Victorious. That one actually is over. I'm sorry. Our movie this week is Ed Wood. I thought I wasn't going to get it, and then I was going to be like, oh, son of a bitch. I still have a chance. Still have a chance to get you back to five. When I was doing the uh, the Facebook thing, I looked over, and you were just like, I was like, and hey, you can follow us on Facebook, and you just like. Yeah, because I mean, we both do, we, we say the same thing, so. So you do like a little head bob? Yeah. Okay. Why not? I, I don't know. It, just, it threw me off. I almost started laughing like while I was going through it. I didn't think you'd even see it because there's a big yellow square over my head all the time. It's the autofocus square. I need two. Two what? Ha ha. <laughs>